it's Sylvie here and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's video is um, mainly a review of these dual tip brush pens or marker pens um, that I received today um, from AliExpress. Um, now these usually vary in price between 10 to about a hundred dollars um, and they come in a variety of colors I just chose the 36 colors um, pack so yeah so I'm gonna be um, showing you guys how these work and their color and how vibrant they are um, so they're kind of similar to Copics um, in, in the way that they're designed so I thought that I would give these a try and see how they are and I've also got my pad paper here that's bleed proof to test these markers so let's get into it okay so we're gonna pop these out And see how we go. Okay. So they come into these two little container things here that hold them. Right. So let's go. So I'll start off with the primary colours first. And then I'll work my way on to the secondary colours here. Okay. So, um, from the first look of it, it does have a brush tip and a fine nib kind of tip. Um, and they do have different lids on either end um, to demonstrate which end is which. So, we'll have a look at the brush tip. Okay, so we've got a nice kind of brush tip. And the other side has a nib. Yep. Okay. So, unfortunately, they don't say what colours these are or the names like regular Copic markers do. So, I won't be able to know what their colour name is. So, that's okay. All right, so we'll try this one out and see how it looks. And um, it does fit on the end of this, so that's pretty good. Okay. Okay, so that brush tip. works really nice the color looks pretty vibrant as you can see so that looks pretty good now I'll try the nib okay so that's that color yep okay so that's the first color okay next color is this like fuchsia pink color um yep bit hard to open as these are very new sorry for me bumping my camera there okay so again the brush looks really good um, the colors are pretty vibrant so far from what I've seen
Mm, okay. So this one doesn't seem to be working. But that's all right. Okay, so there's that pin. Okay, let's try the next colour. It's hard to open these. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm on to the fourth colour. Oh, that purple looks really good. Very vibrant colours. So, um, so far these look pretty good, um, for the quality. Um, as I said before, I bought these from AliExpress. Um, I don't know what brand these are. The lid got stuck. Mmm, that's a really nice colour. So I originally purchased these um, because my original um, touch markers um, dried out a little bit um, since I purchased them and I wanted something else for my collection so I purchased these instead. So, as you can see, the colours are very vibrant. Um, I really do like the, the brush tip. Um, as my original markers didn't have the brush tips on them. It only just had a chisel tip and a nib. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to continue doing this and I'll be right back in a second. So now um, those first lot of colours are now done. As you can see, the colours are very vibrant. Um, so now I'll be doing the next lot of colours. So I'll be starting off with this flesh tone.
I mainly like using these colours for like hair. So yeah, there's a bit of a variety with the colours, which is what I really like. I'm really enjoying these brush tips, the way they flow on the paper. They're very juicy as well, which is really, really nice, especially for alcohol-based markers. So these markers are very similar to the Copic Chow markers, which are um, round and thin, basically like this shape, but the caps are slightly different and look a bit different as well. Okay, now on to the last few colours. Okay, so one thing I also noticed about this particular marker pen set is it came with these um, neon kind of colours, which I think look really, really nice. Especially this pink here looks really nice as well. And this set also came with black, which is very interesting because my Touch 5 markers didn't really come with a black colour. So this is going to be really nice to my collection to have a black marker pen to use for detailing and outline. So yeah. Okay, so now all those colours are done. I'm now going to test to see how well they blend. With um, one another. So I'm going to choose um, four different colours and I'll be doing... Um, um, I'll just be mainly seeing how those colours blend with each other. Okay. So I'll be choosing this teal green blue colour, like a mint green. 
I'll also choose this blue and I'll choose this pinky colour and this fuchsia pink colour. So these four and we'll see how well they blend. Okay. Okay, so I'll do the first two colours, which will be these two. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the colours seem to blend pretty well. Okay, so they do blend. Okay. Now I'll try the next two colours. Which is these two. Okay. So yeah, there's a lot of um, saturation here where the colours have blended. Um, yeah, lots of, um, it's really juicy um, with the colours that have been used. So that's mainly all the colours in this collection that I have got for my pens. Okay, so now it's time for the pros and the cons. Um, so the pros would be um, that it's a cheaper alternative to buying the more expensive brands like Copics and other brands which are like the chameleon pens that kind of thing it's also budget friendly so it's easily affordable easily accessible um the cons um uh they're really hard to get the lids off them um especially with the brush tip end you have to like really pull at it to get it off um they're round, um, so they're a nice design, but I don't really, um, yeah, the, I don't know why they had to use a different cap like this, I don't get it, but they still do fit, um, the caps are not interchangeable from what I can see, so we'll try, okay, so this is a small cap. Yep, see, you can't change the cap. Um, but you can put the cap on the other end of your pen like this. So it doesn't go anywhere. So that's pretty nice. Um, they don't show you what names are for the colours. Um, I don't know if you can buy refillable inks for these, but, 
But anyway, apart from that, these are a pretty good starter pen. Um, if you want something different to your usual touch markers or the Copics. Um, but yeah, but the colours are very vibrant. They blend pretty well. Um, for what you can see here, they don't really run. Um, it's pretty good. So yeah. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for more upcoming videos. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I hope you guys are all having a wonderful week and having a lovely day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.